What's up guys, it's time for a daily update on X2Y2. Today, a little bit less positive than yesterday. Unfortunately, it's definitely gone down quite a lot again, where we saw a little bit of an upward trend has gone down a little bit. We got a couple of things to talk about. One of them is the owner. The other one is the NFT reward um, or the NFT listing rewards that we get, of course, the staking, and then the token itself as well. Um, I think that what we talked about yesterday with the whole phishing attack that's gone, um, that, that happened with OpenSea. That's something I think that, you know, lasts one, two, three days. It's part of crypto a little bit. People are scared. Oh my God, I might lose my NFTs. It happens. And then one or two days later after that, you know, it fades away again. And that's it. Uh, a lot of people have gotten scammed, but, you know, that happens almost on the daily, to be honest, with within crypto. So nothing special there. Plus... It seems that it's not the fault of OpenSea itself. It's more the fault of, you know, people just not paying enough attention. They get an email, they think it's OpenSea, turns out to be not OpenSea, and then they get scammed that way. Which, yes, definitely is, is very annoying, but that's, you know, it, you still got to make sure you check everything correctly. Um, that's the main thing that happened, though. There was somebody that was able to get into certain wallets and contracts and, and get to take stuff out. So, you know, sometimes people are just very smart and they find small little mistakes and mistakes in the contracts and they're able to to get in um what x2y2 has done though is very clever we talked about it yesterday already is where they announced that they were going to come up with a secret code that you get when you get an email then the, your secret code is in there is that one not in there then you know it's not actually from um, x2y2 we look at the tradable volume it's doubled over uh, the last 24 hours so there was just a tweet on that not too long ago um we'll talk about the owner a little bit as well because he makes funny comments on twitter some of them i think are good some of them maybe not that much but today's market fee distribution will be scheduled at uh, 12 utc nine hours from now and it'll stick this time from now on oh there's good news in the last oh, not 24 22 hours the fee has been doubled compared to that of yesterday um in 24 hours we're still five days old so that's good more and more people start to trade here as you can see there's a little bit of volume extra on azuki i think yesterday in the video was 50 something um traded so there's like two or three trades more probably webland is new av yacht club was at the top the whole time and now this one has been brand new i actually don't know this project so maybe this project has just launched well yeah it, it hasn't been reviewed yet i'm gonna assume activities um so volume traded 130 items nine and a half thousand floor price is already sitting at uh, so floor price here is higher than it is on open c so you could buy it if open c listed here okay? um I, I would like to see a bit of a different setup here if you would go to uh is this one here as well what is the name of it worldwide web not listed here let's see world worldwide what's the name of this webland probably maybe if we search for webland apparently that's not in the top here on um, worldwide webland there we go not in the top on OpenSea, of course because there's all projects like azuki and all the bigger ones that have got a lot of tradable volume doesn't seem like this is a new project at all i just haven't heard of it myself but there's a lot of volume going on here it's definitely going up i don't know where suddenly so there's a lot of volume here on OpenSea with this one as well, but it's good to see that this one has now been traded a lot on X2Y2 too. Um, what do you see? I'm going to assume that this is, but that's a different video to talk about. This is something like the uh, Metaverse Land. World War Web is an interoperable pixel art MMORPG Metaverse game giving utility to popular NFT projects. The game uses NFTs for in-game NFT avatars, pets, lands, NFT items and quests. We see a big spike, but that's something that we can talk about in a different video. A big spike in the sell, uh, sales of land that's being sold. Of course, NFT Worlds has taken off, and I think that that's a massive new trend coming up, something to keep an eye out for, but different video for later on. Um, but, um, we do see a little bit more volume, not that much yet. Um, there wasn't that much to begin with, and now it is doubled. So if you take a little bit and you double that, it's still kind of a little bit. But there's an upward trend, so that's what we got to look out for. There's an upward trend going on. The rewards, though, that you get from listing your NFTs, um, that's a little bit 
different. Why? Because, well, this is the rewards that we have so far. We'll go to the Excel sheet in a minute. Yesterday, we talked about the phishing problem, uh, like the phishing attack that happened, and I had to delist my NFTs, right? So I did delist it yesterday. This wasn't updated yet, and today it did update, and now apparently you don't get any rewards for it anymore, right? The one of the day before has gone down, so this one is less now, I think. Um, oh no, hold up. The dollars is less because the price is less, but the amount of tokens is the same thing. But for today, uh, as you can see, not all of them are on there or not all of them at least give me tokens. So I've listed more NFTs, but I get a lot less in rewards. So this doesn't make sense to me where this comes from. Yesterday, uh, we had six list. Uh, hold up. The 19th, we had seven listed. One of them was the mutant that gave us the most amount of uh, rewards. Today, we do have the mutant, but it's only going to give us a quarter of what we got on the 19th. Then the identity that I have listed, which is listed for, I think, 13 or 14 Ethereum. Well, no, 16.9 Ethereum, by the way. 16.9 Ethereum for this one. Um, and that it gets no rewards. So, again, it doesn't make sense to me. The Lazy Bunny did get rewards before. Now, not anymore either. So, when we look at it this way, I'm getting 72 tokens right now from all the days. Let's not count the first one. From about the first four days, I get... Um, 71 or 72 tokens right snapshot is going to be taken every day at 12 utc and then you're going to know the next day how many you will get so this doesn't make sense why this has gone down why i get less for listing more but 70 to 72 tokens at the current rate that's like 75 dollars right 75 dollars um or a little bit more uh, close to 80 dollars for listing these amount of NFTs, for listing a mutant ape, which is, you know, still, it's still a new project. It's still a little bit risky. I wouldn't just list too many expensive. Still, I wouldn't list too many expensive NFTs here. But, you know, also listing the more expensive NFTs apparently doesn't really give you anything in return. This one is listed for 40 Ethereum. So the only one NFT that's going to deliver more results uh, would be the board ape, right? But um, if you get like double or triple the results, still barely anything so 10 20 30 40 50 dollars uh, for listing nfts yeah doesn't do too much so they've announced it as a massive thing as an awesome thing but so far it doesn't seem like it's doing that much for us but we'll see maybe that changes right then we go to the staking rewards which is the most important thing right price has gone down so we need to get a lot of uh, rewards for it to be able to make up for the results that we aren't really getting anymore from the token price so we're sitting at 4408.8 let's round it off to 0. 0. 0.04409 if we refresh it maybe we're there already there we go <laughs> oh that's going quick let's refresh it again 0. 09.75 refresh 0. 010 no but not that fast all right we'll refresh it later so um 4409 correct yep right now it is the 21st of the second at 1700 so definitely not doing the 24 every 24 hours anymore i couldn't make it earlier today so this one was a little bit later now it's a little bit later again but you know it doesn't matter that much what have we earned here we have earned 400 minus 51 we have earned ourselves 349 tokens that is not correct what i'm saying here 51 351 tokens is what we've earned Oh, yeah, I should kind of do that on the daily earnings, shouldn't I? I should make a extra list here because that makes it a lot easier to overview. So we have earned ourselves um, 351 tokens today. But overall, we want to add what we've had yesterday. So we want to do this one plus this one. This makes more sense. All right, cool. I will reset all of this later on. So then this makes more sense. This is daily earning, right? And then this is current total. I have not done any capitals here. Guys, come on now. That makes more sense. All right, that's for later, right? I just have to do this because it makes it more tight. But let me talk while we're changing all of this in a second for you. Um, this is what we've earned today. So uh, let's just quickly make sure that you guys all understand why I'm doing this. This, this is what we've earned the day before. Then there we go. That is not correct. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. 
it is no this one minus um, the day before was the 18th minus this one there we go the other ones aren't really necessary to put in there because it was on the same day so there were snapshots in the same day so let's leave that one out this has gone from this from the 18th to the 19th to the 20th to the 21st you see a difference here where you think the results would go up but it's because of the time frame probably this was still 3 30 p.m whereas this was a uh, quarter past five and then here the time frame was a little bit different only was an hour but as you can see there's not a whole lot of com compounding effect in here so we're roughly earning the same thing which is a little bit weird to me because we should be earning a lot more if we go to the apy so somewhere along the line these calculations don't add up in my opinion right why is that because interest right now is sitting at 2780 all right 2780 percent we have day uh, daily compounding which is this apr then we have terms of day if we check this uh where is it here we had yesterday 4060 tokens so we put in 40 minutes and then we have one day then it comes down to oh that does make sense for four three nine all right cool that does make sense if we then have the day before three seven one five um that was our initial balance three seven one five that makes sense too um but if we fast forward with two days all right cool so that does make sense well in that case i think that the expectations of the compounding effect was a little bit too high right i thought with this type of number but that's that's why it's good to keep track of all this you see a number like this you're like man we got to benefit from this apr it's insane you get so many rewards yeah you do but in order for you to benefit from that you would probably need to leave that in that state for quite a while right on day four because we're starting here i'm just taking this day which was two days ago right Th uh, 37 15 we got four days then we've earned ourselves 1200 tokens but if we take this number for a second 49.80 and then we put one day up that means that we've earned 380 um tokens from day four to day five so we go back to our results that would mean that from the 22nd to the 23rd we will earn 380 tokens so we have a certain number tomorrow as an example 365 i'm just saying and then the day after that it'll be 380 according to the api calculator there well to be honest in two days time from now getting 30 tokens more doesn't necessarily you know feel like that much sure initial investment wasn't that high either so 30 tokens uh is 30 dollars roughly 33 dollars on a 5700 investment extra accumulating every single day all right cool well maybe that 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 is that is a lot could be i just expected a little bit more why did i expect a little bit more or oh, i had a feeling i hoped a little bit more because we already knew that this price wasn't going to hold stable right maybe why we thought it was going to be higher is because we started the calculations with eight thousand percent apr the first day was fourteen thousand eight thousand six thousand so you know it's going down gradually so it makes sense that the rewards the compounding per day go down as well and when we look at it that way look it's still awesome because we're still earning a lot of extra tokens every single day and in two days from now we're going to get 380 so the day after that we'll be earning more than 4, 400 tokens per day extra right but that's only going to be a lot we're only going to have that feeling of like man this is earning us a lot of money this is a good trade if the token price actually holds strong so the token price for this plate to work out needs to go towards the two dollars again otherwise it's just not really that good right again market is not doing very very well um there's a lot of stuff happening with russia and ukraine at the moment they're really making moves right now so i'm curious to see how that's going to play out maybe we'll do a video on that tomorrow depending on how things are going to play out later on today to see what the expectations are going to be in the market but you know ethereum and bitcoin they, they dropped a little bit but now they're holding strong at this level so you would hope and think that a, pro, a project like this with high apr that's getting a little bit of hype around it that it would at least bound back bounce back a little bit you know towards that one dollar fifty mark i would say but if you look at the chart like this maybe the one dollar eighty mark even if it goes back to the one dollar fifty one dollar eighty mark then yes we can go back to this number and be like hey look 380 400 tokens a day well that's that's decent another reason why i'm saying all of this is because i wouldn't want to hold this for too long so you know i'm not gonna 
assume that this price will go all the way back up to two dollars fifty three dollars so we're definitely gonna have to benefit from the staking but the apr is going down and down and down i want to make my, sure that my money is out before it goes below the thousand maybe even a lot earlier you know the 1500 mark because eventually you need to make sure that you take it out before the massive drop comes in right and there will be a drop eventually when people are going to stake out their money we'll look at the trades that are going on um, nothing too major happening nothing too special the last time that i checked there weren't uh, any massive sell orders there weren't any massive buy orders there's not that many tradable volume anyway here you can see three four five six there's not even multiple sales per minute right in 10 minutes times there's um, 10 or less trades being made so not a whole lot of stuff happening here also the trades are very low a lot of them are below one ethereum some of them are a little bit more like two or three ethereum but that's also it's kind of slowing down which is on one hand fine which is good because then we can just accumulate these tokens i think we would need to leave this in there which we can find out whether that's true for at least you know two weeks there you go here yeah. we would need to leave this in there for at least two weeks to really have a good effect on the apr right but again apr is going down so this will uh, also go down this number will go down too so maybe if you want to break it down to a you know different number over the next 14 days this number will go down maybe you average a apr of like 2200 over the next 14 days then you would have uh doubled just over doubled your tokens but if apr goes down faster and you would have averaged your um apr of 1800 percent roughly i'm just giving a number here then you would be yeah, roughly double so let's say the goal would be to double your tokens from the uh 19th mark so which was this one here um from this mark you would double your tokens in two weeks time what well, are you really gonna keep this for two weeks it's a very long time to keep this for two weeks this price could literally drop all the way to 20 cents uh over the next two weeks if it wants to right same happened to Luxray. It didn't go to 20 cents, but Luxray was actually a lot higher. So the peak was at $7. And right now, uh, which is what was at the roughly the same time, right? When results went down, things went down, then this uh, dropped. This is when the uh, halving came from the staking rewards. So that dropped massively after that, and it never recovered. And I think that the same thing will happen with X to Y2. It won't recover anymore after that. Maybe down the track, months and months and months time from now, when they come up with new features and they're actually taking on OpenSea and they come up with multiple things, maybe. But uh, that that's not really a discussion point right now because we're looking at it for right now. Is it a good trade right now? And looks rare. No, it's not a good trade right now, in my opinion. X to Y2. Could be if you're still in it. Would I still put money in right now? I don't know. Risky. But I'm in it and I want to ride it out. I want to see how things go. I don't think I would put any money in, even though it's that low. I think I would be like, you know what? I missed the boat on this one. Could hold stable here, but you're not really going to risk that much for a couple of hundred bucks, a couple of thousand bucks. So long story short, um, we want to see how development goes over the next couple of days. If it really goes down below the dollar and it doesn't recover anymore, I think that we've missed the play, or at least we 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 weren't able to make good money on it i might just leave it in there after that and see how things go if this goes back to two dollars i'll take it out and take my profit because then i'll almost double the money that's in there right now and i'm not gonna wait and see if it goes more or if i can accumulate more tokens while it's sitting at the two dollars i'll just take it out take my profit and if it's continue to sit in between of the 120 to 150 then we'll just see whether we can actually end up doubling our tokens over the next two weeks I'm not sure if I want to do a daily update for two weeks long. If you guys want me to, sure, let me know in the comments below and I can just keep up with it. And otherwise, I might do it every other week eventually. But for now, it's still very interesting to see how the development of this project goes. And there's more news coming through every single day. Quickly, an update on the owner. Um, so he's interacting, like engaging with his audience, which I think is cool. But at the same time, he's also showing that he's not that he doesn't know that much yet. So here he says an hour ago i got an idea for a bot of a bot whenever a collection um that has a floor that's lower than that on OpenSea, um it tweets about that collection uh and that nft hopefully it um, it gets sold fast dumb dope or dumb let me know and people are like yes i like it that's awesome um i think that that would be awesome because it would be very easy for us not like oh, everybody's coming in like people like the idea i kind of like the idea it's cool because then as soon as the floor drops um you could just quickly go to x2y to y2 swoop like buy it sweep the floor and then if you want to list it on open c again for more sure you have gas fee so i don't know whether that's x transaction fee and all royalties but still 
could be a good idea. But then he posts this, tell me why English speaking people don't like our name X2Y2. Well, it's not even a name, X2Y2. How do I pronounce, like, what do I say? X2Y2, it's so annoying saying it consistently. There's no meaning to it. It's just like two numbers, two letters, it's weird. <laughs> people are like, yeah, making fun out of it, which is true. But like, is he actually then gonna change the name? If he is gonna change the name, on one hand, it's cool because he listens and you know he, he thinks along with the community. So he's like, for the community, with the community, and, and whatever, which is then cool, but at the same time, he's kind of taking his own project as a joke, where we would want to see a little bit more serious about it, right? They've received an audit report in Chinese, um, no major issues, we received the English version pretty soon, uh, how should we share the audit with you in a blog post with your comments um, down there, yes or no, let us know. So it's cool that he's interactive, he wants people to make decisions for themselves as well, which I think is a positive thing. Lastly, what I want to say is this, there is a market fee that you get shared as well with in WEF, the trading fee that you get shared, I don't know exactly, they said that it's different to Luxra because they don't give out the um, trading rewards, so where this actually comes from, I'm not 100% sure, I should look it up to be honest. So by tomorrow, I will uh, let you know what this is for. I looked at it this morning, but it, it's barely anything. I got WEF 0 0.001 that I've earned so far, which is nothing. I also don't know whether it's compounds or not. Probably doesn't. Let's see how much we've earned since we last checked. 4409, and then I'll leave you guys alone for the day. Um, all right, so there we go. Another $4 uh, dollars is earned since the last time we checked and we updated in here, which is a couple of minutes ago. All right. So that makes sense. Long story short, um, sum up of this video is that we are earning, we are accumulating, but I would like to see things pick up a little bit more. I think that we have to readjust our thought process a little bit considering APR has gone down and it's not as high as it was anymore before. But um, in two days from now, we should roughly see 380 earns per day. And that means in three days from now, we'll be earning more than 400 tokens a day after that things might pick up and then we're gonna be able to see ourselves earning 500 tokens a day. Does still mean that right now we're earning at a current rate 350 to 400 dollars per day on this with only an investment of 5,700 dollars, which is pretty decent, I would say, um, if that's gonna keep up like that. The price goes up after that, it's gonna be even more and it will be awesome. Sitting price at around 150, it means that in less than one week's time, we have earned our initial investment back just by staking it. If price drops below that, then that definitely doesn't count anymore. Um, so tomorrow, another update on the NFT listing, the total price, etc. And I will give you guys a little bit more intel on what the goal is with this project. Thanks for watching though, and I'll see you guys in the next video.